I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be diving into episode 3 of Dragon Ball Daima, so let's get started. The episode opens up in space near planet Bapathy, where Goku, Shin, and Glorio meet Warp, a colossal mystical fish who serves as a gateway to the demon realm. Warp isn't just any magical fish, he's a gatekeeper allowing select individuals to pass. Accessing him requires special permission. True to his nature, Goku almost jeopardizes the entire entry by calling Warp a goldfish. But thankfully, Shin steps in. Warp's selective access is just the start of the intricate setup in the Demon Realm, hinting at a strict hierarchy among its inhabitants. The presence of such a powerful gatekeeper adds to the mystery, suggesting that the realms are interconnected yet fiercely protected by magical barriers and select permissions. Once they pass through Warp, Goku, Shin, and Glorio enter the Rally Point, where we're introduced to an entirely new structure within the Demon Realm. The Demon Realm consists of three distinct worlds each divided with restricted access. A magical shield prevents easy travel between these worlds and only certain people, mainly palace members, are granted permission to enter the first hatch of the first demon world. This setup creates a layered almost kingdom-like structure within the demon realm where each world has its own set of rules and gatekeeping. The barrier system gives a sense of both mystery and danger as even within the demon realm the inhabitants can't freely move between the worlds. It raises questions about what lies behind each realm's barrier and suggests that these restrictions could pay could play a significant role in the unfolding story. In a major revelation, we learn that Shin, the Supreme Kai from Universe 7, is part of a species known as the Glen, originating from the second demon world. This reveal shifts previous assumptions that the Glen originated from the world core, a unique planet filled with giant trees and kaiju-like creatures. This revelation ties the Kaioshin and Makaioshins more directly to the dark magical atmosphere of the demon realm itself. As they settle into the, the third demon world, Goku Shin and Glorio encounter in a tense heavy atmosphere. The air is filled with a unique gas that acts almost like a high gravity field, testing Goku's physical abilities. This environment forces Goku to relearn how to fight with his smaller, younger body, adjusting his speed and technique. By the episode's end, he begins to adapt, reclaiming some of his control and proving that he's ready to take on challenges in this realm. As the group settles down in a nearby town, we get a classic Goku moment. He's in the bar devouring burgers without care, Glorio warns him, hey, you don't want to know what's in them. But Goku, true to his carefree nature, just keeps eating. This lighthearted moment quickly shifts to action when local demons pick a fight with Goku. He takes them down effortlessly, still munching on a burger, reminding us of his unstoppable spirit. Glorio really stands out in this episode with his composed demeanor and tactical mind. He quickly becomes one of the most intriguing characters in Daima. This moment feels like a nod to the early days of Dragon Ball where Goku was constantly exploring new places and learning to adapt but here the stakes are higher with the unique properties of the demon realm pushing Goku beyond what he's used to. This episode's pacing suggests that Daima is setting up something big with the strict barriers and magical access restriction and palace only entry to the first demon world. It feels like each realm could hold its own powerful secrets and villains. I'm excited to see how Shin and Glorio's dynamic shift if Glorio has a hidden agenda. It could add an intense twist to their mission and complicate their journey even more. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It greatly helps to get the videos out into the algorithm. This episode wraps up on a cliffhanger as Goku and the gang discover that their spaceship have been stolen, leaving them pretty much stranded. Will they continue their journey? Or will they go looking for their spaceship? I mean, either way, this sets up promising high stake battles in the upcoming episodes. If you have any theories on where the story might go or thoughts on Glorio's role, let me know in the comments section. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, keep training. Stay legendary, boys. Yo!